Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to my office. So I've been in my craft room uh, the last few days and I figured why not come at you guys with my King Dollar haul from in here since I already have all kinds of stuff on this table that you cannot see at the moment. It would just help me get through everything so much faster instead of trying to set up another space. So that being said, this is a King Dollar haul from last week. If you don't know what King Dollar is, I have a whole playlist. Everything's a buck 39. There's amazingly magical things there and you're about to see a few of them. So let's dive in. So I work with King Dollar and I go in there and post everything that's new to the store real time on social media. So you will see everything on Instagram when I am in the store. I catch all the new little things that they have in there. I check every nook and cranny so I don't miss anything. And one of the things that I came across were these awesome girly tool sets. So this was the first one. This one I think is probably one of my absolute favorites out of the sets. These are the pretty useful tools. This is a credit card tool, six in one purse essential. So it comes in a really nice metal case, perfect for the girls and your life if you're gonna put together a cosmetic beauty bag or a stocking with beauty related items. I thought this was gorgeous, so let's take a look. So it comes in a metal tin, and guys, check this out. How awesome is that? The packaging is awesome, because you can repurpose the container for sure. So it is this gorgeous metal gold wallet comb. So it has a box cutter here box cutter here, bottle opener, screwdriver, nail file bar, and it's just like a, a textured metal bar, and emergency hair tie, and an emergency comb. I am a wallet girl. I carry a small crossbody whenever I do carry a bag and it fits my wallet, my phone, and receipts. Like, that's the extent. And somewhere just to put my keys so they're not always in my pocket. So I am a small purse girl and this is definitely going into my wallet. I am so excited about that. It says thrive in the urban jungle. So that is awesome. Perfect for gifts. So I got a few, one for Damien's girlfriend, which is my oldest son, and then one for my sister-in-law because she usually, we usually see them around the holidays and then something for my mother-in-law. So I am super excited about that. Okay, so there are three of these. One for my mother-in-law because she always does like a cheese block and stuff like that. And then one for my sister-in-law because she is old enough to drink. And then one for myself. This is the Pretty Useful Tools Cheese and Wine Multi-Tool. Okay, so this is the one that I already opened because it comes with a plastic liner on it to keep it nice and clean. And the hubby helped me go through all of them and open them and see like what the tools are. So it's kind of hard to open. The pieces are very stiff on there. So we will look at this. So when you expand it, you have the, the cheese slicer, the can opener, the knife, the corkscrew, fork and bottle opener, spreading knife, soft cheese knife, and serrated knife. That is pretty awesome. And he showed me, because we were trying to do something, we were trying to open something so here's the cheese slicer looks like this you know you pull it along the cheese and it'll slice the cheese off for you you could also use it as a little serving tool if you wanted to and then here's this one which is the fork and bottle opener so you have your fork and bottle opener this one is the serrated knife you can see it like that serrated knife This one is the can opener. This one is the soft cheese knife. This one is the spreading knife. And this one is the, oh no, this is the soft cheese knife and this one is just the regular knife. And one thing that I thought was really cool, the hubby helped me figure this part out. When you do this, this part comes off because this is the corkscrew and you have to be able to use it when you open the bottle. So you would put this back in 
and screw this into your bottle to get your cork out. I thought that was awesome. And then one of these knives actually locks this in place so that it's not loose anymore. So you would take this off and one of the knives when you close it actually locks the whole entire piece back together, which I thought was pretty freaking awesome. So that was $1.39 guys. The perfect Christmas stocking stuffer for the wine, cheese board, snack lovers in your family. I thought that was so cool. On to the next one, we have this one here. Pretty useful tools, magnetic flashlight key ring. Let's cut this. Okay, so you have this really pretty key ring and it's on like a carabiner kind of thing, but it's one of those that lock. And then you have your little tools on, the, on both sides. And it is magnetic and it is a flashlight. Look at that. How cool is that? If you ever feel uncomfortable walking to your car, just hold on to that real nice. Real nice and tight like. If you're like me, you walk with your key in your finger. Sure do. But it is magnetic, so it can hold up against something in your car. That is so cool. I thought that was awesome. And then the last one is this beauty multi-tool. And the quality on these guys is just great you know what I'm gonna leave that on there so I don't get my fingerprints all over it they definitely don't skimp on packaging guys I can tell you that much so here we go we have the key ring here that connects to this and then we have all of the tools here let's see what is this this looks so nifty the first thing is the scissors here Let's see if they actually cut. Wow, they cut very nicely actually. So that was good. And then we have, looks like the nail filer. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a mirror. We have a comb. That is awesome. And then there, I think there's more on the other side. What the heck? No way, they're nail clippers. <laughs> Guys, check that out. Oh my gosh, they're like actual nail clippers. So this one has a mirror, yeah, it's a mirror, a comb, a carabiner, the nail clippers, nail scissors, mini tweezers, and nail file? Where are the tweezers? Okay, so I'm gonna have to ask the hubby to help me find the mini tweezers because I don't see them. And he's so much better at figuring this stuff out. And if he does find it, then I will do an overlay. But either way, this thing is so cool. This is awesome. Okay. That's in. That's in. That's in. Oh my gosh, I found it. You're kidding. <laughs> they were there inside that hole. Oh my goodness, you are kidding. That is too funny. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to close this. All right, so there is that. That was pretty nifty. Okay, now that we took enough time on that, let's move on. Next, I picked up these two colognes for the boys. The hubby actually told me to go back. He liked the scents and he likes to have these for his car because all of his cars smell magical and he just likes to get very affordable cologne and use that as a car freshener because he said it lasts the longest and it's the best. So I'm actually gonna go back and get several more. This is the International Inspirations um, 
inspired by aqua di Gio, and this one is inspired by armani code they actually do smell very good for young kids so i went ahead and picked up those two sticking to some personal care i got some repurchases first is the cremo antiperspirant and deodorant in the bourbon and oak adam was actually using these and he said because i hauled some previously i think i hauled like four or six he said he liked it and the other boys are running out of their deodorant and they actually don't like their deodorant. They have the, I don't know, like SureGuard or something like that and they didn't like it. So they wanted one of these. I went ahead and picked up two more because I didn't see any more. I think that's all they had. Anyway, got those. Cremo is an actual brand. It's a really good brand, kind of like a high end and they sell for several dollars for each one. So I did pick up two of those for the boys. And then these I picked up. These look like they actually have new packaging. They are the XHC Argan Oil Hydrating, Nourishing, and Cleansing, Sh Cleansing Shampoo and Conditioner. They are paraben-free, dermatologist tested, and uh, SLS-free as well. They are full-size 10-ounce tubes. And Adam actually really likes this brand now. So I went ahead and picked up the set so he could have it because he's starting to pay attention more to the things that he likes as far as personal care. So I went ahead and picked up a set of those. Also for Adam, I picked up two of these. He has one already. It's compared to Clean and Clear Morning Refresh Cleanser with ginseng and vitamin C by Modessa. It's an oil-free face wash. So I went ahead and picked that up for him. My mom is going through this thing of like giving him facials and stuff and he really likes it. So I figured he would enjoy washing his face with something a little bit more like big kid-ish since he is going into his, or he's already a teenager, but he's getting older and he wants to make sure he takes care of himself. So I got him that. Okay, so kind of sticking along the personal care slash house products. These are the Blue Man Antibacterial Hand Soap with Moisturizers. This one is in Lavender Extra Soft, Paraben and Triclosin Free. This one is in Aloe and also paraben and yada yada free. Now these are antibacterial soaps. They do kill up to 99.9% .9 of germs and it says a natural boost with tea tree oils. Now antibacterial things are flammable because of the alcohol content that they have in them. Um, so I would just, I had someone tell me that this was on the news that it causes fires. I don't think it's a matter of causing a fire I just think it's flammable so that being said keep it away from fires use it to wash your hands do not use it to clean surfaces because I'm assuming the oils in the soap will not allow the chemical to kind of wear off as a liquid spray would do there's that picked up one of each scent really nice size bottles I was super excited to find those I always share with you guys anything that has to do with cleaning or antibacterial or name brand things and i've done that since way back in the day when i first started shopping at king dollar because i know the value that they hold and now that we're in a time of you know what out in the world we actually have a stockpile of antibacterial wipes and sprays and cleaners because i always try to tell you guys when it's out there get it because it's not a buck 39 right now i can tell you that much moving on Sticking to the kind of kitchen home stuff, I found these. OM Garsh, guys, how awesome is this? Now, I know when you want to reduce waste, um, everything seems to come in plastic packaging, right? So that doesn't make much sense. But it's worth it to get your multiple pieces in one purchase and then just toss the plastic, recycle the cardboard. But that being said, check these out. It's like they say, uh, get rid of the plastic straws so you get paper straws wrapped in plastic. <laughs> so these are, I got these because number one, there's multiples in the set. It comes with the little brush. There's different styles, but it came with the big straw, which is perfect if you're like me and you like to blend up drinks. Um, my favorite thing to do lately has been taking like a margarita uh, drink and then I mix a bunch of fruit into it so it's nice and chunky. And I love big straws like this. I actually have bamboo and metal straws, but I don't have any metal straws this big. So I was very excited about that. 
and then it comes with the straight straw and then it comes with the curved straw so exciting and then you get the brush for the dollar 39 I mean you cannot beat that recycle and then trash next I found the granite wear tall mugs guys I showed you the baking dishes that they have that number one I can say work awesome I, it didn't scratch it didn't nothing happened to it when I made a pie and I cut into it and everything still looks the same I am so excited about the granite wear dishes that they've been putting out I found green like forest green pie dishes and the dark blue speckled um, plates and now the tall mugs I am so excited about this especially because any of the personal mugs or cups that I get I want to have in a four piece set and now I have them how awesome is that four granite wear mugs $1.39 a piece in this gorgeous dark blue I thought that was fantastic so excited about those found this ginormous pack of napkins this one says count your blessings very fall-esque with the sunflowers and that kind of dark reddish and yellow color and this is by punch studios it is the 100 count guest towel three ply napkin pack I don't usually buy paper towels and I don't usually buy napkins unless I find a really good quantity for the price and that's typically at King Dollar. Now buying napkins isn't a matter of reduce waste as far as in the landfill but it is definitely reduce as far as money. I don't like to spend money on paper towels and stuff like that if we don't have to. We have fabric napkins in our home and different color towels for cleaning and hand towels and things like that. So that is just a matter of preference trying to reduce financial waste not so much waste into the landfill because it's paper it's gonna break down so yeah there is that super excited about that perfect for outdoor entertaining in our outdoor kitchen speaking of the outdoor kitchen I got these for the hubby because he is such the plant connoisseur lately he has done so much with so many different types of plants outside. He has, he's like in a plant group and all this stuff. He's trying to, you know, grow fruit trees and all that. And I give it to him because I kill everything like succulents or my jam. That's about as good as it gets. But these are the syndicate home and garden vases and they are so pretty. It's got this stone bottom and then the concrete top. Very nice. This is an actual brand. And it's like garden related and there's a bunch of different plant kits and stuff like that and it's not I can tell you does not retail for a buck 39 it's a pricey brand so I was very excited to pick these up for him and we're gonna be putting these in the outdoor kitchen as well one thing I forgot with the personal items these are also going to be Christmas gifts for my sister-in-law and for Damien's girlfriend. These are the Pro Metallics Precision Brushes. Gorgeous gold handle brushes with these light, airy, fluffy tops. Now, my sister-in-law has already kind of experimented with makeup for a long time. And then Damien's girlfriend's actually wanting to experiment with makeup. I've hauled several different types of brushes that they have... There at King Dollar, they have charcoal brushes, they have kabuki brushes, they have the mermaid tail brushes, they have so many different things there. So I am just adding things together to make a nice little Christmas basket for each of them. And I thought these were very nice, very good quality. It says that they are cruelty free, plush synthetic nylon bristles. And I'm very, I was very happy to find those. They're so fancy looking. So got those two for them. Okay, next. I found this, the Krylon Stained Glass in Smoke Gray. They actually had these really cool carbon fiber kits that I really didn't understand when I saw them. But after I, I took pictures of them and everything, Alma actually went out there and she was talking to me about them. So she was the one looking it over and kind of seeing how it worked. That was awesome to have a carbon fiber spray kit. 
but I just decided to pick these two up. This is what I thought I could actually get some use out of. It is the stained glass smoke gray spray paint. I just thought it was very nice. So I did pick those two up to have them on hand because the weather is getting a lot nicer and I will be doing furniture and all that jazz. So I did pick these up because you know they don't retail for a buck 39. Next is some shipping supplies. I just picked up a few of these mailer packages. This is the family made self seal bubble mailers. I'm gonna do some price comparison to see if it's better for me to pick up more when I go to King Dollar or if I should just order them online. But to have them on hand, I got the three pack of the eight and a half by 11.25 envelopes. And then I picked up the four pack of the six by nine and then a five pack of the four by seven. So yeah, I just picked those up for the shop to make sure I have them on hand if I need them. I don't do much with small bubble mailers, but there are some art prints and stuff like that that I have that um, could fit in a few of those. Huge bags of candy. These are the three pound bags of the Tix Tix Airheads Mini something just a combination of candies kind of like the these are the piñata candy bags and I was very excited for that because Halloween is coming up and we are going to be taking the boys out in the truck and at the same time we can also give out candy while we're out so that is just really cool I'm excited to have this a buck 39 guys for this big bag I did pick up three bags I picked these up for here in the craft room. They are the three-piece set of the magnifying rulers. These are the wide rulers, and I actually love these because when I'm doing my craft projects, I like to be able to see through my ruler, and I cut everything with a blade. So I need multiples because sometimes I do cut into the plastic. But that being said, I picked up these three. They're magnifying rulers. You're supposed to be able to magnify what's on there. So like if you're reading or something, you can see what it says and all that. So yeah, I did pick up those three. So that is pretty much it for my King Dollar haul, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I am actually debating on going back to get a few more of the toolkits for more family and friends, also for giveaways around Christmas. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite find was. If you're planning on doing any stocking gift ideas, share those ideas down below with us so we can also have some stuff brewing as we start to pull together goodies for our stockings. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I have a full King Dollar playlist. I've gone to King Dollar's King Dollar for many years. I started going there when I was 15 and it was absolutely a necessity. And then I started working with them many years later and it's been such a blessing. So feel free to check out that playlist. They do allow me 25 items to bring home and share with you guys and show you all of the new things just for my time. But a lot of these things come out of pocket because it's just kind of hard to get 25 when you go. <laughs> and don't forget if you want to see the pictures of everything that I'm posting real time I do that on Instagram and then I'll go through and put them on Facebook as well You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at the Bates house also hashtag Bates house anything and it will come up I do king dollar hashtag everything king dollar haul king dollar hauler king dollar finds king dollar King Dollar Houston all of that is on Instagram as well if you want to check all that out real time But for now guys, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye